Hello Shay, this is John with Opals. Uh, I'm going to show you how to catalog these two books. I'll start with this first one. I'm just going to copy that part of the title. I did some searching for this. Um, well, let me start with the ISBN, which I don't think comes up, but let me show you. All right, so to start uh, cataloging, you'll go to Items, Z Import, Z39.50 is an international protocol to share records for libraries, and that's why we call it Z Import. I'm going to first put in the uh, the ISBN number, and when you put it in, it would be best to scan it with your barcode scanner. The, if if there is an ISBN on the back of the book, lower right corner, makes it easy to scan it in rather than typing. So I'm starting, these are all the resources that I've added to your catalog. I'll start with the schools. And what you'll do is just go right down. So if it doesn't find it, you just go to the next one you'll see here in a moment. Hasn't found it at the schools, so now we'll go to the Library of Congress. And by the way, oftentimes, not often, but a number of times you'll find that the ISBN will not find it. So let's we've gone to the Library of Congress. Now let's go to Sitka. No. Oops, hang on a minute. There we go. Let's see. Okay, Sitka has it. Voyage Through Space, Ian Graham. Now, I don't have your copy in front of me, so I'm assuming this will be the right one. Uh, I'm going to click the title, the hyperlinked title. You want to see if it looks like this picture. And um, I'm going to, let's see here. Yep, it's got the same ISBN number without the hyphens. That's why it's nice to scan it in because you don't get the hyphens, which slows the search down. So this is the book. I see that it's got a J629.4 here. I don't remember if you're using a J in front of your call numbers, but we can come to that in a moment. Here's the author, the title of the book, where it was published, the pagination. Here's a series statement, Discoverology is a series. Uh, outer Space, Exploration, Toy and Movable Books, Discoverology, a good record. So now we'll go to the holding record, which is what you're holding in your hand. Um, the call number is 629.4, so I don't think you're using a J. Uh, and then the author was Ian Graham. Let me just check. So GRA will be the cutter. The, last, the, the first three letters of the author's last name go in the I. So the H is the Dewey number. Or if this was fiction, it might say FIC and then GRA for Graham. And then you'll put your barcode in. Now, I don't know what your next barcode will be, so I'm going to use my initials. And then when you, um, when you're, when you get my video and you add the, this book will be in your catalog. You'll just need to edit the barcode. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. I don't know the price. You can always put that in later. And I'm going to save the record and exit. Save and exit takes me back to Z Import ready for the next book in hand, which will be One Hoop Facts. And I'm going to show you another trick. There's no ISBN there, so I'm going to show you another way of looking for the books. All right, I'm going to keep it rated right Sitka. I'm going to paste in one. Okay, I'm going to take out the by. I'll even take out Alex. I don't need to. I usually just use the last name. So we're putting in few words of the title and the author's last name. Let's see if Sitka has it. I'll click search. Nope. So let's go back up to the top. Let's see if the schools has it. Nope. Let's see if Library of Congress has it. So sometimes you'll, there we go. Basketball Hall of Fame, Hoops, Facts, and Stats. Jay Wiley, 1998. Let's see if there's anything. Okay. Oh, shoot. You did give me your barcodes. Okay, perfect. Hang on a minute. I'm going to copy that. And I'll fix the other one. Show you how to edit that. All right. I'm going to click the title just like I did the last one. You want to make sure it looks like that. If it doesn't, it might still be the same book, and you can always change the cover. 
Let's go down to the record. I see it's a 796. Basketball, hoop, facts, and stats. Alex, so-and-so, Wiley. Um, a summary statement, which is very nice. Basketball, uh, records, juvenile literature, basketball hall of fame, basketball players. A great record, very thorough record. Okay, so now we're going to go to the top. Go to the holding record, 796.323. I never go beyond two or three characters after the dot. Um, and it's S-A-C, the first three letters of the author's last name, and then your barcode I'm pasting in. Well, actually, hang on a minute. I'm going to click here, paste it in here. You'll be scanning your barcodes, okay? I don't know the price, so we'll leave it at that. And I'm going to save. This time I'm just saving it. Oops. There's something about the number. We'll have to talk about your barcode numbers. Let me see if it'll take it without the spaces. Probably we've talked about these before. Let's see. Oh, it's a duplicate number. Okay, I'm going to use my initials again. There we go, and I'll save it, and we can talk about fixing your barcodes. All right, so I'm going to leave the barcode in the first one as I put it in with my initials, and the second one. Uh, let me make sure I saved it. Perfect. Let's go to your home page. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to do a short zoom sometime, help you out. There's Voyage Through Space, one copy available, the date it was put in, Ian Graham, in about 20 to 40 seconds, uh, when the other one is done indexing, we'll see two here. Now we're seeing both new records put in the system, and we can talk about replacing the barcodes, my initials, and numbers with your barcodes. Glad to help, Shay.